So this video, I want to explain how code foils, you definitely size down. I reckon about 150 to 200 square centimeters, especially from Axis or Nash or some of these other brands. It's just the way that their section works, you can go smaller. So I'm going out on the 770, which by area I would have been on something that was, you know, probably a thousand square centimeters um, with the other foils that I was using. So uh, let's go. Okay, so on the 770, paddle up was not easy. It was easy yesterday in 10 knots, but I think I'm just tired. So, it's actually quite light. Um, probably 12, 14 knots, and I'm on a 770. And I'm working harder than I would be an 860 or the 960, but it's totally doable if you turn. And I think the thing is, small foil still glides really well. So when I do get those boosts, it gives me a proper rest because I can stay with them just chasing at the moment. It also means when I use that speed like I am now, I can project and still glide. So even though it's a small foil, it's got good glide. Which is what's allowing me in light conditions to ride and still be, you know, I'm doing 230s because it's pretty light. I probably wouldn't go like I would actually be going a similar speed if I was on the 860 or the 960 because there's only so much energy on offer but when I do get the good ones like that I can surf really nicely. This 770 is very playful. And still fast and gliding. I love it. All right. I wouldn't use a 770 in say 12 knots and up is if the wind was really on shore. You could totally light wind wing it, um, light wind down with us, like prone surf this foil. Because I'm having a ball, like I'd take this on a bay run. Purely because of how fun it is. Energy. It's sort of like the light wind stuff. It's either, well, not always either, but usually you're trying to just stay with the bumps. But if you're on a fast wing, if it surfs nice, you can turn to stay with the energy. Now I can, I could outrun these bumps if I wanted, but I'm not racing anybody, so. Why would I? But 770, even at my 95 kilos, it's versatile enough in its range that I could do all of the above. I can go two minutes on it, or I could light wing wing, uh, light wing down wing, and have fun. Oh. 
Righto, we're in the flats. This is really going to test the bottom end. Look. It's flat and it's just swell, so... Ironically, you actually need a fast boil for this section. If I come down, I'm cooked. Pretty much a flat water pallet. So that's probably the last little talk. I need to breathe. Ah. I can't make it through the black side. It's a long way. Yeah, too tight. Probably won't be able to paddle up now. Okay, so, let's go. I'll try. But I always knew this was going to be risky, so happy to do the paddling. Yeah, if I was on the 960, I would have made this section. But I came in here for a workout, not a <coughs> not an easy run. So, right, I'm gonna paddle in now. Paddle of shame. This sort of proves my point. I just almost paddled up twice, and these tiny bumps, which are like starting from just over there, like they're tiny. So. I reckon I'll get up. I am getting further away from the headland, so they are getting a little bit better. But I reckon I'll finish on foil. We got up! Oh! Then I found a swell. Well, that wasn't easy, but. Well, I'm gonna have a pump. 